Well, I'm just seeing, uh, you know, a team that uh, played better than we did the week before, but we still aren't making the plays we need to to win the game, and we're still making too many mistakes, too many uh, self-inflicted errors that uh, when you're playing a team like Buffalo who doesn't beat themselves, you know, that, that makes it tough to win. And uh, we did a good job coming back. We did a good job taking the lead, but we weren't able to close it out. Guys get frustrated, I mean, professionals. Uh, I, I know there were some things that were kind of aired uh, publicly regarding playing time, and uh, I don't know what your reaction is to that, but when it gets to that point in a locker room, a lot of things stay in locker rooms. How do you keep a team together at this time? What is it? Do you have to do something differently, kind of stop and say, whoa, everybody calm down here, we're going to turn this around? Well, I mean, again, the, the tape doesn't lie. So. You know, we come in today, we watch the tape, we, we go over the grades, we go over the things that we need to fix. And, you know, the fact of the matter is our, our issues, again, are, are all things that we brought on ourselves and all things that we're the ones that we have to correct them. So it doesn't matter what, what anybody says about it. It's, it's all right there on tape. And, uh, you know, everybody's frustrated when you don't get the outcome that you want. And, you know, nobody's more frustrated about the outcome than I am. But at the same time, uh, it's a it's a team game. This is a we game, not an I game. And uh, you know anyone uh, that uh, they just people need to be careful about pointing fingers without looking at themselves. How did Jameis look to you yesterday? And after you said, okay, Friday he's playing. He he feels good enough to play. How did he look? I thought he played really well. You know he he had a couple balls he'd like to have back. He he tried to force that ball in there at the end of the first half in the two minute uh, was probably a little bit of a risky decision. And he missed a couple other uh, throws that Jameis can make in the first half. But that second half, Jameis was on fire, and I thought he played, well. I thought he played pretty well. Is he starting to get to Deshaun more? Because it looked like it. And as a result of that, are, are other things opening like you thought they would? Well, we had a lot of people play well in the passing game. I mean, O.J. had his biggest day. Cam had another good day. Mike Evans had a fantastic day. And Deshaun had a, had a good day. So, uh you know, I don't think it's. I think it's. It's mostly we had. We had starts with pass protection. Uh, you know, we're. I think we're like top five or six in the league in in sacks given up. Jameis is doing a good job checking the ball down. He had some nice checkdowns to Doug Martin and and Charles Sims as well. Uh, but you know, we we played well in the pass game. You know, we need to still be more consistent in the run game. And and the number one thing on offense is, you know, we can't turn it over three times. You get a division game finally, and we talk about, oh, okay, here we are in the standings, two games out. It, it can turn around in a hurry uh, if you start stringing together division wins. How exciting is the opportunity to finally get that part of the schedule going? Well, when you're when you're at the bottom, and that's what we've earned right now, you know, that's that is the quickest way to, to get back in the middle of it is to is to get some division wins, and it starts with getting that first one, and that's at home this week against Carolina. Hope hope the fans will be out there uh, uh, helping us get there.